the cheeseburger was invented in Pasadena in 1920. After 104 years, fully autonomous restaurant, robots are preparing the cheeseburger and the french fries. I'm Shai Salamazian, your host. Let's go in and see what this is all about. I'm with Alana Abed, Vice President of Product Development at Mitro Robotics. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell me about this place. What is this place? Well, first and foremost, it's a restaurant. We cook hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and a whole bunch of fries, like truffle fries. Um, but how we do that, why that's really exciting is we're one of the first restaurants to automate the process from end to end. So from ordering on a POS kiosk, all the way through the burger, the fries, putting that all together, that comes together one autonomous restaurant. And then the team members here, the, the staff to greet the customer and hand them the food and answer any questions. Hamburgers have been around for over 100 years. Why robotics in hamburgers? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a very good question. I think where a lot of it has been lacking in the past is automating on behalf of the back of the house for restaurants. It's a really, really hard business if you think of car mechanics, manufacturing. A lot of those processes have already been implemented, but the back of the house has been largely untapped. And what that means is we have two th goals that we're trying to achieve. The first is team member satisfaction and team member retention. So by the robots taking the dull, dirty, dangerous tasks away, it frees up the team member to do a job that, that's more engaging, more customer friendly. And from the customer's perspective, there's higher quality of product, less contamination, um, and all of that leads to high, better ingredients that we can pass along to the customer. What is the future it's holding for Mr. Robotics? Well, we're testing this out as a pilot for now um, and seeing how this goes, but we would love to continue to make team member experience better and continue to automate in the back of the house. So robots and employees working together for a better product. I'll introduce you now to Vic, who operates the restaurant. He can show you around and how, how we cook the food. I'm with Vic Olak, along with many titles. He's the operator of this crazy restaurant. Vic, tell us more. Thank you for having us. Tell us more about this kitchen. Welcome. This is the first AI autonomous robotic kitchen in the world. It's run on robots, but humans as well. Our employees are a big part of this, so it's not just the robots. Let me tell you about how the process works. First, you would start with a facial recognition software-based kiosk, place an order, ticket comes through, and then our chef techs would take the ticket and input the amount in the order of burgers or fries through the robots. So the burger chef here is the burger bot, and uh, as the uh, chef tech has entered the amount of patties to be cooked, we have a uh, refrigerated hopper. Uh, our proprietary blend of Wagyu beef and it gets ground per order so that it's fresh for the customer and it cooks it on the top and the bottom simultaneously after which the chef tech grabs the beef and assembles the burger. I wouldn't eat hamburger without fries. How about the fries? Is that done with the robots too? I can show you that. That's actually being is open and we can show you exactly the process here. A chef tech would come to the, the screen and place the amount of fries to be cooked. You can choose between small, medium, and large. All you need to do is hit a button and step back and let the robot work in. So now the arm is swinging across to pick up a basket and then it's gonna swing up all the way to the end and pick up the fries from the refrigerated hopper. And then it swings it back and drops it into the fryer for a specific amount of time that it's pre-programmed for. Guys, be on the lookout for Cali Express in Pasadena, coming soon. Until next time, thank you for watching.